Hello sleepers, there is nothing technically wrong with this audio, but I will still not listen to it for relaxation. I hope you enjoy it, since I had a lot of fun making this one. Hey, gentlemen, I think you're bothering this one. No, I insist that you leave him alone. Would an axe in your skull change your mind? Be aware that I am an orc, and that I am much more powerful than you lot, so... I will think twice about standing between me and what I want, and I want him. Smart. Come with me, boy. I'll keep you safe. Here. Well, of course. I am an orc, not a savage. I know basic decency. Or would you have preferred to sit on my lap instead? <laughs> Wench, bring him a nail. We need to forget those idiots at the other table. Oh, don't worry. I'm paying for it. Can't let a beautiful elf like you get thirsty while we talk. Oh, you aren't an elf, but a human. My, such a delicate and alluring figure. I will have taken you for one of them since they say they are to be descendant of gods. Sorry, just an instance. Thank you for being so quick, my dear. Here's some silver for your trouble. Yes, yes, don't worry. I'll keep an eye on them, but I think it'll be quiet tonight. So, where was I? Oh, yes. I am currently spending time with the most handsome man in the whole tavern. Nay, the whole land, I say. Ah, no need to be shy about it. I am quite bold, the other told me, but... I never lie about this sort of stuff. If I may ask you, why were you with those low lives earlier? I doubt you are usually with this sort of crowd. You seem so much more refined, as if you were a prince from a distant kingdom who came to this land to give a simple mortal a glance at your physique. Oh, and let me tell you, I am enjoying every second that I'm looking at you. Oh, were you looking for a room for tonight since it's too late to travel and this place is already booked? Well, it is true that you could have shared a room with one of them, but I doubt you'll have ended well for yourself. I propose that we share a bed tonight if you wish. Oh, truth be told. I am quite attracted to you, but I will not dare lay my hand on you without your consent. I am afraid I will break you if I did. You have no real proof of my convention, but... Ah, there, look at this. Do you know what this is? Yes, it is a mark of a paladin. I am one of the highest orders sent around this part to make sure the land does not fall into complete chaos. Yes, and our paladin. It is quite rare, but you can be sure that it belongs to me and that I am attuned to this mark. If you hold it, you will find that I am telling the truth. So, as I said, you are safe with me. My hold and my god prevent me from doing anything of the sort. And, well, even if they were not there, I will not want anything to do with this sort of action. I loathe the action of some of my brethren and only wish to make the world a place where good orcs like me get respected. Ah, done with your ale. Let me get you another one. Wench, if you could. Oh, don't worry. Just to celebrate our new budding friendship, one that I feel was actually destined to occur. So. Before you said you were looking for somewhere to sleep, so I suppose you aren't from Harold here. I would have noticed a handsome man like you, that's for sure. 
So, if you like, you can tell me what brings you here. Nah, thank you, girl. Always a great service. So, you're an adventurer, really? Looking for some companions for your travel. Interesting. I was not imagining you as one, since you seem a bit wet beyond the ears. Uh, don't take it personally, but it's as if you never had a real fight before. Ah, I see. Well, that makes a lot of sense. If you wish, I could come with you and show you a thing or two until we reach the city. I could even maybe stay with you for a longer time if you wish. Oh, don't worry. The most important thing is that I help others and fight evil. It doesn't matter if it's here or a few days of walk to the north and with your grand goal, maybe I could have a good fight and a good time with you. It may not look like it, but I fought against Azel the Lich and live to tell the tale. So if your goal is simply to get rid of a necromancer plaguing your domain, I will almost do it by myself, I believe. <laughs> uh, this? No. I wasn't alone in my fight against Azel. I had companion, but they are busy with life now. Some had kids. Other became political figures, and one of them perish. I am the only one remaining in the adventuring branch. Wait, how old do you think I am? I am only 28, alright? Still, plenty of life in me and skill to offer. So if you would like me, I will be glad to help you reclaim your domain for you. Oh, no need to pay me. Looking at your gorgeous face every day is enough. <laughs> All right, no, actually I have plenty of money, and I am able to provide for myself in the wild. I have valuable skill I am ready to teach you, if you wish so. Whoa, are you okay? Oh, I wasn't aware you were such a lightweight, sorry. Hey, next time, do not hesitate to tell me what you can and can't handle. I don't want you handling more than what you can, and I know that sometimes I can be difficult to take care of. Especially in the handling department. Alright, we're going to bed. Ah, don't worry. I'll carry you to your room. You are lighter than I thought in some. I can lift you up in any fashion I would like. Trust me, it can be quite useful. <laughs> Here we go. You are in my room. Yes, I do live in the tavern for now. I work as a bodyguard and help drunks get over their hangover with this. Do you feel any better? Less nauseous? Great. Some of those paladin spells are handy at removing poisons, but you can still have some edge or dizziness afterward. Eh, not bad for a tavern in the middle of nowhere, right? I do have one of their best rooms after all, but it's not even the greatest. Oh yeah, it's a double bed. You just realized it? I would not have invited you to sleep with me if we would have been forced to snuggle. I do find you extremely attractive and... I mean it, but... I would love to get close to you during the night. But hey, I respect you much more than those earthly desires. Oh my... Quite bold are you? So... You do want to be closer to me when we sleep. That's fine, but let me tell you that I can sleep with this leather armor on, so you will have to rest your head on my chest. Here. Quite impressive, right? I am quite proud of my physique, but really, if I could, I would rather have one that looked better like yours. Lean and sexy. All right, I'm going to blow out the light. Do you like it on my chest? Oh, I do love having you close to me like this. Oh, don't worry about this at all. We can take it slow after all. We have a long journey ahead of us. And you, my dear, you are someone I'd rather savor and enjoy to its fullest. I'm actually 
overcharged that you're interested in me as much as I am interested in you. Do you mind if I kiss your forehead as a good night's kiss? Mm, lovely. Good night, my dear. Don't worry about that. I'm going to take good care of you and I hope you will also take good care of me. Thank you for listening. If you enjoy, you can subscribe and leave a like. I am taking a bit of time at the end to let you pause the video or close the page in case YouTube decide to put an ad without my knowledge. Have a good evening.